Blessed Be Virtual PSG. I am so glad that we all are gathering here and I invite all of you who are watching live to take a few moments as we continue to gather. Reflect on virtual pagan spirit gathering. How did you come to learn about our gathering? What were some of the things that you had as part of your virtual pagan spirit gathering experiences? What were highlights for you? What were learnings for you? Who all have you connected with in community? Be reflecting on these things as we have the roaming gnome giving us some more flute music. And I invite you to put it in the live chat so that my partner, Dennis, will be able to share some of the comments in a few moments. So join the live chat, say where you're um, viewing from, and share something about PSG with all of us. Thank you. being here. My name is Selena Fox and this has been our 40th Pagan Spirit Gathering, but we're also going to celebrate the 40th Pagan Spirit Gathering next year because in 1980 was our prototype Pagan Spirit Gathering and we didn't give it the name until 1981. So yes, we're going to have another 40th anniversary next year, and hopefully we'll all be in person. And thanks to all of you who are sharing comments. And I'm going to invite Dr. D to share, share some of the things that are being shared in live chat right now. Well, I'm seeing lots of messages of thanks coming through of people who are very appreciative for this week. A number of people are posting about how this has their, been their first PSG and they're so glad that they found out about it or stumbled upon it in whatever way they might have. I'm getting uh, comments regarding people looking forward to PSG in person uh, next year. And as we might expect, comments regarding missing that tangible, real person interaction with hugs and all manner of uh, interactions. Um, uh, again, Many thanks coming through for all of the volunteers who helped uh, make this week uh, possible. 
Well, one of the things that we do, for those of you who've been to Pagan Spirit Gathering in person before, we do a closing ritual and closing meeting all kind of woven together. So we're doing the meeting part, and then we will be concluding with an honoring of the sacred forces that we called in the opening ceremony that started the virtual Pagan Spirit Gathering. This certainly has been an amazing journey. I am so thankful that our Pagan Spirit Gathering admin team decided that we would take this on and make it go virtual this year. This has not been an easy thing. It's been an opportunity to use our creativity and to learn a whole lot about Zoom and Facebook and other software programs. I want to give thanks to everybody who has been part of the Pagan Spirit Gathering over the years, whether you've been part of it once or multiple times. And I want to give thanks to all the new people that have joined the Pagan Spirit Gathering Facebook group. Indeed, and talking with Reverend Bob right before starting this meeting, we have had over a thousand new comers join us here on Facebook. This has been a grand experiment. I'm so thankful we did it. And I'm so glad that community connections have been able to happen on cyberspace. We are so used to connecting as a community face-to-face -face in person, and it's been fabulous to be able to make new friends and to reconnect with old friends here. So I want to give thanks to all of those who have been part of making this happen, not only those of us doing the behind the scenes work, but those of you who have joined us, whether it's been for a bit, for the whole time, and all of you new folk that have connected with us. We really hope that you will continue to be connected with us in Circle Sanctuary long after our virtual PSG is over. It's all about being able to make connections, to collaborate, to learn, to share the love. I'd also like to extend thanks to everyone who helped make this possible. I have not been uh, real involved in actually making this work, but I have been watching folks from behind the scenes and I can't begin to tell you how many long <laughs> hours of work has gone into this event. And I know that virtual events like this are ultimately no real substitute for the direct face-to-face uh, -face interaction um, that we're all so used to. But I'll have to tell you, from my perspective, this experience has far exceeded my expectations for what was possible in this uh, alternative uh, format. It's a true testament to the idea that community really does transcend us being together physically. And I've really sensed that community this week in uh, virtual PSG and I want to give again my thanks to everyone who had a formal role in making this all happen, but thanks to all of you out there who participated and who contributed to the community building with your posts to Facebook, um, ranging from the good morning cups of coffee to the commentary regarding various aspects of village <laughs> life that we might be experiencing if we were actually meeting in person, including the slamming porta -door, port toilet doors. <laughs> so thank you all for making it real and for helping make this sense of community come alive in this format. And I am so thankful Years ago, it became apparent to me 
that as pagan spirit gathering was growing and the community was growing, that there needed to be a pagan spirit gathering manager different than me. Little did we know that when Sharon and I talked way back then, that her duties um, ha would exp expand and turn into virtual PSG. And so I am so thankful that Sharon took on the role of being Pagan Spirit Gathering Manager. Um, when I actually call her the mother of Pagan Spirit Gathering. Yes, I helped birth PSG many years ago. I kind of trans started, had been transitioning into that grandmother role. Sharon is many, many hours and finding good ways to connect people together and problem solving on the fly and multitasking and all of that. So I, without further ado, I want to turn it over to Sharon with our heartfelt thanks for continuing to help bring this gathering together and make it happen. Many thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Selena. I have to wipe a few tears away from that. I appreciate those good words. And Dennis, I really, really echo what you had to say about this uh, virtual experience we all just went through. PSG community is so important to me. And um, I wanna take, first of all, the opportunity to thank some of those people that were behind the scenes. As Dennis said, this took hundreds and hundreds of hours for us to get set up and to manage during the week. And this is all volunteer time for the love of this community. So I would like to just take the time to recognize a few of those people. First of all, to our tech people you've seen on and off throughout the week, Jeanette and David Ewing, I thank you so much. Chris, the roaming gnome, I thank you so much for your tech for the main ritual last night and for these meetings playing your flute, you've been a blessing. I also would like to thank the Grotto folks. My goodness, we had Chiron, Truly, Tanya, and Lady Hawk who met with you every noon for grounding and centering. And they met individually with people who were struggling with the loss of this face-to-face -face connection this week. So I send blessings to them for all the work that they gave this week. And Bob, I'm looking at you in my screen. <laughs> I just want you to know how much I appreciate you and all the work you do helping getting these over a thousand people into our page this week and for always keeping our media up and going. I just want you to know how much I appreciate your support during this. Um, and I also would like to acknowledge the moderators. I'm getting weepy, you guys. This is almost like being there. <laughs> I'd like to thank the moderators. These women came together and we worked so hard this week to keep everybody so they wouldn't get lost and answering their questions and just connecting with them as much as we can. So I'd like you to see their faces so you can just give them some love and some gratitude. So first of all, I'd like to introduce Reverend Minerva. If you'd unmute and say a word, Minerva. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, all the tech and I just screw it up at the last moment. It's been an absolute honor to serve this community as it always is. And thank you, Selena, Moonfeather and Messina for your leadership and your coordination and to all the tech folks. I am really grateful for this opportunity. Much love. And just stay right there because the next one is Messina. Hi everybody, I'm Messina and I was your moderator for a couple of days this last week and it was my absolute pleasure. Um, I, you'll hear me often say it, people thank me for what I do, but it, it's not about the gratitude, well, the gratitude's nice, but it's my pleasure. This is what I feel drawn to do. This is my service and my service to my community and I love you all. And to Casey. I feel extremely honored to be of service to the PSG community. Thank you for letting me play the small role that I did. Um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. And to our last moderator, I helped moderate, but I have to do a lot of things. I wear many hats, but our last moderator was Judith. Thank you, Sharon. And, and I, I share your emotion in saying goodbye to this um, 
amazingly unusual week. Um, I have been really honored to, um, this would have been my 10th, well, it is my 10th PSG. And my very first PSG, um, I heard this full song by Spiral Rhythm, but I'd like to, to sing just the chorus to you because it has been my theme song ever since then. Sing through my voice, play through my hands, let the way be open. And thank you everyone out there for joining us. This has really turned out to be a way more of an amazing week than I thought it would be. Blessings. Thanks, Judith. And the next group I'd like to honor and give thanks to, which I've done many times this week, but my heart is so full for our bonfire coordinators. This was totally their idea of their love and their gift to the community to um, burn this sacred fire all week long. And it's been a community ever effort. Selena bagged up all the mugwort and ashes from last year, and we got it transported down there. And I took a drive down and took them pizza one night and took them some more wood and a new chainsaw. And, and they have just been such a wonderful group. And you certainly were the heart of this PSG virtually. So I wanna thank Brian, Tegan, Jessica, Hunter, Nick, and Heidi for all the love you have for this tribe. We love you right back. And I also want to give thanks to Dennis and Selena for trusting that we could pull this off virtually. <laughs> I know sometimes Selena and I butted heads a little bit. Uh, we're two powerful women. But boy, we pulled it off. And I just want to give thanks for your patience and trust in letting us do this. Um, I think it's turned out as fantastic as it could. So thank you, Dennis and Selena. And the last person I want to give thanks to is I'm looking you right in the eye, Messina, in my camera. <laughs> Messina has been my backbone in this and done a lot more work than you can imagine to help pull this off. So I just want to give thanks to Messina. Okay, and my last announcement is that we've been hearing um, about feedback for this. And yes, of course, Circle always gets feedback. So there will be a feedback form coming out on the PSG Facebook page. Just watch for that and please do answer that because we read every single bit of that feedback and, and we react and plan by, by your comments. So please send us that. And my thanks, it's been a pleasure to serve you at the virtual PSG this year. Blessings. Hi everybody. And, I'm, oh. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Sorry, Selena. I didn't mean to step on you. Hi, everybody. I'm Messina. And I have a couple. Um, well, I have a list. It's long. Sorry, bear with me for all my thank yous. I first want to start out by thanking community. Each and every one of you have led and lended your energy to this week. We do what we do because of you, for you, because we love you. And it's our pleasure to facilitate this week, this PSG and this village. It was really very different this year, but we really, really appreciate all of you stepping up, taking it, embracing it and running with it. So thank you very much. You are our community. You are our tribe. We are family. Blessed be. I also want to give a special thanks to Bright Hawk and Hollis Taylor for their family programming this morning. It was amazing and they were amazing presenters this year. Our Morning Merchant Madness, special thanks to Shell and Joe for making that all happen. It was absolutely amazing. And special thanks to all our merchants who participated and especially for your generosity and your donations to circle some of your profits from those sales. A lot of those merchants are still selling. So if you're still interested in buying, make sure to check out their posts on the Facebook page. 
I also want to give a shout out to Asgrim and Willow, our um, fire safety coordinators that put together that beautiful montage video of fire spinning last night. Fire spinning is a sacred act at PSG and it was just amazing to have it included in our programming this week. Special thanks to our social justice group, Reverend Jake, Reverend Aldridge, Dree, and Nate. Thank you so much for your programming on Friday. We are blessed to have each and every one of you in our community and for your activism. Thank you, thank you, thank you. PSG would not be the same without our wonderful musicians. Thank you for blessing us with your talent all week long. We thank Marin King, Tak, Krista Chapman, Beltania, SJ Tucker, The Thunder Sirens, Lugaru, Celia, and Spiral Rhythm. Thank you for making this week very special. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this without crying. I'd like to take a moment and thank Sharon, Reverend Moonfeather for her constant, diligent work to make PSG happen. She is a force to be reckoned with and an energy that is multiplying by every single moment. She has this spidey sense. She knows where to be <laughs> and when to be there. And she is truly a blessing to our community and a center and heartbeat to this tribe. Thank you, Moonfeather, for all that you do. You are an amazing mentor and I love, love, love working with you. PSG started 40 years ago because of Reverend Selena and Dennis. They've molded it into what it is and this event is amazing because of the foundation that they created. We can't say thank you enough for making it happen, Selena and Dennis. Thank you so much for creating this and giving us the opportunity each and every year to come together and celebrate the solstice. You are loved by so many and we love each and we love each of you so, so much. On that note, Selena, I give it back to you. Thank you. Well, it's so wonderful to be here together. Um, two more things before we go into the ritual. I want to give thanks to everybody with CSNP, the Circle Sanctuary Network podcast, and David and Jeanette Ewing have been wearing multiple hats, witchy hats, when they're doing the tech here, but they also have been doing a Solstice podcast this week. I want to give thanks to Laura Gonzalez, who did not one, but multiple podcasts this week as part of this, to Deborah Rose, who had two of our presenters, Dusty and Bella from Aquarian Tabernacle Church had a special podcast and they were able to join us that way. And I also want to give thanks to the Ewings for helping uh, me do two podcasts in the middle of PSG week, and to Casey, Reverend Casey, who has uh, been doing social media. So Reverend David and Reverend Jeanette Ewing, thanks for all that you've been doing and making it possible, not only with your good tech skills, but with your good tech, because as we learned yesterday in the LLL meeting, that satellite internet doesn't always continue to work during a thunderstorm. So <laughs> we had opportunities to uh, problem solve on the fly and that was kind of amazing. Well, before we go into our ritual of farewell and Thanksgiving, I want to celebrate all those couples who have solstice as their anniversary time. And we have Messina and Minerva. I think we ought to do a view of them and let them unmute so they can um, be present to do their anniversary here. 
<laughs> They're singing in our house. Thank you so much. It's it's just a blessing to be part of this community and to have been married at PSG. Ditto. <laughs> Much love. And is there anyone else here in the Zoom room that have a anniversary? Hmm. Well. <laughs> Not the 1980. <laughs> yes, we got David and Kathy. And we want to honor them, put them on. They're going to be in the ritual, but... We'll have you all say some words. Just the same thing. We're so honored to be part of it and to have been married at, at PSG and uh, uh, long, much love and, and lots and lots of wonderful memories. Amazing memories, yep. Well, and Dr. D and I, we tied the knot in Eagle Cave back in 1986. Yes, this is our anniversary. Amazing to get married during a gathering you're helping to run. That was before Sharon took the helm. So that was quite interesting. Yeah. So what was that like, Dr. D? Well, it was certainly a memorable event. <laughs> and I'm so glad we were able to do that at PSG. And I also want to acknowledge all the other couples out there, some who may be listening and others who are tuned in uh, in spirit who've also been uh, hand fasted or married at PSG. And give thanks to everybody whose birthday has been in during this solstice week. If this has been a birthday time or an anniversary time or another special time, I invite you to put some of that in the chat as we prepare to go into the ceremonial part of our closing today. So I invite everyone now to take a few moments, take some deep, slow breaths. And as you connect with the sacred that's within you and around you, Call to mind the form or forms of the divine of source that you are aligned with, that you had encounters with at this pagan spirit gathering. And as I play this singing bowl, I invite you it should you choose to either speak the name or names wherever you are, whether you're watching live or watching later, and if you wish to also put in thanksgivings to one or more forms of source or the divine in our chat. Divine as one, divine as great mother, as great father, as great unity, divine that is many, divine that is source, divine that's within us, divine that is around us. We call to you, we honor you, and we give thanks for your blessings, for your guidance at this virtual pagan spirit gathering and in our lives. Continue to watch over us as individuals and a community. Bless us, guide us, enlighten us. So be it. And we call to the sacred directions and elements in the way that 
we did as we began this sacred journey. And we begin in the north and the earth. We want to say thank you to the spirits of the north, the powers of earth. We are grateful for staying steadfast beneath us during this week of remote connection. You are who tie us all together across this country and this planet as we remotely connect mind to mind and heart to heart. We are grateful for your ever presence being out there under our feet, whenever we leave our house, whenever we'll meet again. And you are always what keeps our foundations together as a people. Once again, we will meet on you, hopefully not too long from now. But until then, we are grateful for your energies and your powers, your influence, and your grounding us as a people. And we give thanks to the powers of earth. We give thanks to the ever-changing face of the land. We give thanks to the bones of history that inform what we do. We give thanks to the groundedness that allows us to come to rest at the end of the day. Thank you, Earth. Thank you and farewell. And in the east and air. We give thanks to the east, to the soft breezes of air. We appreciate the breath of life in our festival and our many sacred spaces this week. Thank you for carrying away our troubles and trials as we raised our voices in solidarity. Thank you for your intuition, insight, and intellect. Go if you must, stay if you will. Hail and farewell, East and Air. And to fire and south. Here we are. We, we call, call to the, the spirits, elementals, and guardians of the South and the sacred fires. We, at, we, we thank the sacred fire of the South for lending its energy to fire up our courage and burn away racism, hatred, and ignorance. We thank you for protecting us and motivating us to stay focused on those things we need to do to achieve our goals. And while we are physically distanced, we ask that the fires of the love for our tribe continue to connect us and sustain us as we venture forth from this virtual Hagen Spirit Gathering. We ask that you continue to lend your fires of protection and healing to help protect ourselves and our loved ones from the COVID-19 virus and let your fires heal and burn out the virus from those who are infected. Spirits, Spirits elementals, and guardians of the South and the sacred fires. We thank you for being with us during this virtual Pagan Spirit Gathering. Blessed be. To West and Water. We are thankful for gentle waves of water and the West. You washed over us and cleansed us, our festival and our sacred space. You brought us joy and passion, filled our spiritual cup while we were together. Thank you for being with us for the summer solstice time and, and for cooling, cooling us with your gentle current. Hail and farewell, water. Rain. 
we give thanks to planet Earth that is our home. We give thanks to that unique place on planet Earth that each of us calls home. And we give thanks for our unique part in the web of life that exists on planet Earth. Blessed be. And we give thanks to the solstice sun in its various forms. This is an ancient Celtic sunstone reproduction. And whether you have joined us celebrating summer solstice or winter solstice, we give thanks to the solstice sun for being with us. And this is new moon. And we give thanks to the moon in all phases, especially at this new moon time, a time of beginnings. We give thanks to the stars, to the heavens, to the solar system, galaxy, and cosmos of which we are all part. And may we continue to find good ways to be together, not only on planet Earth, but in the larger universe. So mote it be. And we continue our ceremony with special thanksgivings for the sacred spirit, sacred work, sacred connections. And we journey to the land of enchantment, New Mexico. Good morning, PSG, and goodbye. We thank the ancestors, our ancestors, our ancestors across the globe who've been here with us this week, supporting us in all of our work. Those whom we have relied upon to help us on our journey through this life. Without our ancestors, we would not be here. And so, in that we are on these lands, in this uh, Western Hemisphere, I will say goodbye and thank you to my Delaware Lenape native ancestors in their language. And with the thanks of the wind and the help of the wind, these sounds and words and energies will be shared across the globe. Mahum Shawak Wanishi. Mahum Mawak Wanishi. Mahum Saluanyonk. Mahum Sahelasikao. Mahum Sawenchopank. Nahum Shwamyonk, Nahum I am Manito Wak, Manito Ken, Wanishi, Wanishi Wemi, Nule Lindameli Paik, Kishle Mienk, Kishle Mukong, Nuka Mushak, Ke Hesena Haki, Wanishi, and all of you, Wemi Elenkuma, Kik Ok Entu Wak, my relations, my friends, my ancestors, thank you, Wanishi. Anishi, kita mo. I love you all. So mote it be. And now we journey to Chicago. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches, buenas madrugadas. This is how I say hi on Lunatic Mondays every Monday. I want to say thank you to all the community that has joined to our virtual PSG and thank you to everyone that will continue throughout the year supporting our work on CSNP, uh, to the Ewins, to Deborah Rose, to of course, Selena Fox, yours truly, to our international uh, team of podcasters, uh, Petrusia Finkler, Christian Ortiz, Carolina Amor, Monica Govin, and Harwit Tuileva. Gracias, 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 obrigada, and um, now I'm just mixing all kinds of languages. Uh, gracias a toda la comunidad CSMP por estar con nosotros y compartir. Y ahora nuestra parte espiritual. Damos gracias y decimos hasta luego a nuestra comunidad internacional, multiétnica y multilingüe, quienes nos acompañaron en nuestro primer PSG virtual. 
Esperamos que esta celebración haya llenado sus corazones y que nos acompañen en persona en nuestro pueblo pagano en el futuro y hasta que podamos abrazarnos en persona, seamos todos bien bendecidos. Tlazocamati. We, we give thanks and farewell to our international, multi-ethnic and multilingual community who attended our very first online PSG. We hope our online celebration have lived your heart and until we can join each other in person on our pagan land, we and we can hug each other again. We hope that we all be blessed and that we continue these connections, creating uh, buildings of connection with our international pagan community, creando puentes de unión en la comunidad pagana internacional. Thank you, Tlaso Camati. Gracias, obrigada, and blessed be. And we journey to another part of Chicago. Thanks, Selena. Thanks to the Social Justice Center coordinators, Reverend Eldridge, Dree, and Nate, to our brilliant panelists, Chip and Charbear and Laura. Thanks to everyone here who participated in that discussion and in so many informal, impromptu discussions about our values, our ethics, um, demonstrating circles long ethos of inclusion and love, equity and justice. Thank you all in this community for all that you do in our world this week and all the other 51 weeks of the year to help work together to build the world the way we know it should be. And now we thank the spirit of social justice. Thank you, spirit of social justice for inspiring and agitating us be alive and active within us as we tend our local and national and global villages. Help us to see life through the eyes of all our neighbors, especially those who are different from us. Remind us to draw our circles wider and wider, to invite and include everyone and to counter bias and hate and division with love and honesty and curiosity. Help us, spirit of social justice, to vigilantly interrupt hate and oppression in ourselves and in others, to demonstrate allyship and solidarity, and to follow the lead of those in the margins even or especially when it's inconvenient and even scary. Help us to manifest deep care for our planet and to regard every living being as our relatives. Spirit of justice, live in us as transformative, revolutionary, unstoppable love. So mote it be. And we journey, sometimes Colorado, but today it's California. Thank you, Selena. There's strength and diversity. This week, we, people of many paths and traditions, join together to celebrate a week of sacred community. May we carry this feeling of unity forward in our everyday lives and always remember that we are one. Blessed be. To learn more about our interreligious work and other works, follow us on our Circle Sanctuary Facebook page where we have daily updates. Thanks and blessed be. And now we journey to Wisconsin and Reverend Moonfeather, mother of pagan spirit gathering community. Thank you. If you recall at the beginning of the week, I challenged you with your own two hands to make this a great PSG by using your own two hands. I think at the beginning, all of us were kind of like, ooh, I don't know, can we do this? But we did it. We chatted on our keyboards, we clapped, we prayed in front of that fire. We gave sacred virtual hugs to people. We shared our mugs of coffee in the morning by using our own two hands. 
that energy from the fire and from all those interactions came into our hands. Can you feel your hands just buzzing with energy from the week that you created by using your own two hands? Take that energy now and put it into your heart. And just take a moment and feel the energy, the love, the heartbeat of this community. Think about a couple special times you had this week. Bring that into your heart right now. Just remember that, remember this feeling. Take that feeling from this week and hold it with you for a while. Carry that good feeling, those good vibes, the love of community, this energy with you. And then when it feels right for you, then I challenge you again to take your own two hands again and push that love and kindness and goodness out to the world to make it a better place with your own two hands. Blessed be. Well, solstice is a time of many traditions in the solstice of summer. We connect with the Oak King, indeed at the height of energy. And we connect with the union of earth and sky. What is this? But a solstice maypole, summer solstice maypole from Sweden. Yes, and there's many ways to celebrate solstice. Indeed, people are going to be continuing to celebrate for a few days in different parts of the world. Garland, crowns, dancing around fires. Yes, midsummer is still happening. And in the ancient times, people would celebrate for several days. So while we are concluding our virtual pagan spirit gathering, I invite you to consider continuing your solstice celebration online in various ways. We conclude our ceremony with some long-standing pagan spirit gathering traditions. And we begin where we started with that sacred fire. So I call to the sacred fire keepers to come forth as we say farewell to the sacred fire. We kindle this fire every year as a symbol not only of solstice, but as a symbol of our community life, our community spirit. And though the physical fire right now is going away, some of those ashes and bits of wood are being collected as they have been done every year since we started this back in 1980. So we give thanks to our fire circle, we give thanks to the fire, and we give thanks to our fire keepers. Sacred solstice fire, sacred solstice fire. Sacred solstice fire. You live on in our memories. You live on as the tradition. And we look forward to the time when we kindle another solstice pyre and set it afire for Pagan Spirit Gathering 2021. And we have another tradition that at the end of our closing ritual, we have a song to send all blessings for those who have joined us. And one of those traditions has been to have the traveler song. So David and Kathy, thanks for a great main ritual yesterday, and we invite you to share with us the Traveler's Song. Thank you, Selena, and uh, I wanted to wish a happy Father's Day to everybody out there that's a father or feels like a father, and happy solstice. This is, uh, this is Traveler by Saikon. <clears throat> 
flowers on the mountain tops have spread their purple stain. The wind comes from the border line and brings the evening rain. Oh, traveler, won't you rest a while? Lay down, lay down your load. Longer that the journey takes, the further down the road. Come rest yourself by springs that lie. Among the hills and firs, for sure the road is hard to climb with bends and twists and turns. What dangers lie beyond the hills? There's none of us may know. Longer that the journey takes, the further down the road. For you've been given the finest gift, a traveler to see the road you're traveling on. And know where you are bound. Come meet me at the turning place. Together we will roll. Longer that the journey takes, the further down the road. Longer that the journey takes, the further down the road. So as we all go on gallery view, we give thanks for virtual pagan spirit gathering 2020 and all of us are going to unmute ourselves and make joyful sounds <laughs> and giving to everyone see you next year happy